Have you ever pondered the mysteries that lie at the heart of the universe? It's a question that has echoed through the ages, whispered in the quiet corners of the human mind, and etched in the annals of our collective curiosity. The universe, that vast expanse of cosmic wonder, is a treasure trove of enigmas waiting to be unearthed. It's an infinite canvas painted with the strokes of time and space, and it's our home, our playground, our laboratory. Our fascination with the universe is as boundless as the cosmos itself. We gaze up at the night sky, a blanket of twinkling stars and celestial bodies, and we can't help but wonder, what lies at the center of it all? What is at the very heart of this cosmic tapestry we call the universe? It's a question that has sparked countless debates, inspired numerous theories, and ignited the imagination of scientists and stargazers alike. And it's the question we're going to explore today. We're going on a journey not of miles or kilometers but of ideas and understandings. We're venturing into the realm of the unknown, the uncharted territories of the cosmos. Now, it's easy to imagine the universe as a sort of cosmic sphere with a definite center and edges. It's an intuitive and comforting idea but it's also a common misconception. Our universe isn't a neatly packaged celestial orb. It's not a cosmic snow globe or a galactic marble, it's something far more complex, far more intriguing. So what if I told you that the universe might not have a center at all, or that the center could be everywhere and nowhere at the same time? It sounds paradoxical, even mind-boggling, but that's the beauty of the cosmos. It challenges our perceptions, it defies our understanding, and it constantly reshapes our view of reality. So let's dive into the cosmos and unravel the secrets of the universe's core. The journey might be perplexing, it might be challenging, but it's sure to be a voyage of discovery, of revelation, and of cosmic wonder. The universe, a vast expanse of time and space, doesn't quite function as we might imagine. Rather than picturing it as a physical entity with a definitive center and boundaries, think of the universe as a boundless expanse, a concept that challenges our conventional understanding of space. It's like imagining a balloon but without a center point. As the balloon inflates, every point on its surface moves away from every other point. Similarly, the universe expands, but not into space. Space itself is expanding and it does so equally in all directions. This expansion is happening everywhere and all the time with no definitive center point. Now let's delve a little deeper and talk about the Big Bang Theory. Contrary to popular belief, the Big Bang wasn't an explosion that happened at a specific spot in space. Instead, it was an event that occurred everywhere at once, about 13.8 billion years ago. The Big Bang Theory suggests that the universe began as an extremely hot and dense point nearly infinitely small. It's been expanding ever since. But interestingly, because the universe has no boundaries, any point within it can be considered its center. Imagine standing on the surface of our balloon analogy. No matter where you stand, it would appear as if all other points are moving away from you. In the same way, from our perspective here on Earth, other galaxies seem to be moving away from us in all directions, but the same would be true if we were in a different galaxy looking out into the universe. So, it's not so much about finding a physical center of the universe, but understanding that the universe doesn't have a center in the conventional sense. Every point is just as central as every other point. So, in essence, we're all at the center of the universe. Picture this. A cosmic web of galaxies, each acting as a node, spread out across the universe. Now, envision these galaxies not as isolated islands in the vast sea of space, but as interconnected points forming a grand cosmic tapestry. Welcome to the cosmic web, the large-scale structure of our universe. In this cosmic web, galaxies aren't randomly scattered. They are arranged in a specific pattern, known as a cosmic filament. These filaments, composed of dark matter and galaxies, stretch across the universe creating a structure that resembles a web or a network. Each galaxy including our own Milky Way, is a part of this intricate arrangement. These galaxies form groups and clusters, held together by the force of gravity. These clusters are like the cities of the universe, bustling hubs of activity where galaxies interact, collide, and even merge. They are the building blocks of the cosmic web, the nodes that give it structure. Between these clusters of galaxies lie vast voids, seemingly empty spaces that are, in fact, filled with dark matter and dark energy. These voids aren't barren wastelands, they are the highways of the cosmic web, connecting one cluster to another. And here's the fascinating part. These clusters and voids are constantly in motion. Our universe is not static, it's dynamic, ever-changing, and ever-evolving. Each galaxy, each cluster is moving, shifting, and reshaping the cosmic web. 
This constant motion adds another layer of complexity to the concept of a centerless universe. So where is the center of the universe? The answer is, there isn't one. Our universe doesn't have a defined center, instead, it has a cosmic web, a network of galaxies and dark matter spread out in an endless expanse. In this grand cosmic web each galaxy, each star and each planet including our own, is floating in the endless expanse. So, without a defined center, where does that place us, the inhabitants of planet Earth? Let's take a moment to ponder our place in this immense cosmic tapestry. We reside on a blue-green planet that spins around a relatively average star, a star that is just one among the 200 to 400 billion stars in the Milky Way galaxy. And our galaxy? It's merely one of two trillion galaxies that we know of in the observable universe. When you consider these staggering numbers, it's easy to feel like a tiny speck, an afterthought in the grand cosmic scheme. But that's just one perspective. From another viewpoint, we are at the center of our own universe. After all, it's our observations, our curiosity, our quest for knowledge that shapes our understanding of the cosmos. Think about it, we're part of a galaxy that whirls in a cosmic dance among countless other galaxies, all interconnected in a grand cosmic web. The universe doesn't revolve around us yet our place in it is unique. We are the observers, the explorers, the storytellers. We are the ones who look up at the night sky and wonder, who build telescopes to peer into the distant reaches of space who send spacecraft to other planets and beyond in our thirst for discovery. In a way, our curiosity, our drive to understand, puts us at the center of our own cosmic narrative. We are both insignificant in the grand scheme and infinitely significant from our own viewpoint. It's a humbling yet empowering thought. So, where does that leave us? We are indeed a tiny part of the cosmos but we are also the ones who give it meaning. We are the ones who ask the questions, who seek the answers, who strive to understand our place in this vast mysterious universe. And that's a beautiful thing because, in the grand scheme of things, our perspective, our curiosity, our quest for knowledge is what makes us truly unique. We are, in a way, the center of our own universe. The universe, with its infinite mysteries and endless possibilities, continues to be a journey of discovery. As we venture further into the cosmos, the way we perceive and understand the universe evolves. It's like peeling an onion, with layer upon layer of knowledge awaiting us. Our understanding of the universe has undergone seismic shifts throughout history. Once we believed Earth was the center of it all, then we realized our planet was merely a part of a vast solar system orbiting around the Sun. As our gaze expanded further we learned that our solar system is but a tiny speck in the Milky Way galaxy, which itself is only one of billions of galaxies in the universe, and yet our understanding is far from complete. The concept of the universe's center is a case in point, traditionally we've thought of centers as fixed points around which everything else revolves, but in an expanding universe this concept becomes tricky. Is there a central point from which the universe is expanding? Or is every point in the universe moving away from every other point, with no fixed center? These are questions that continue to puzzle scientists and astronomers alike. As we look forward the concept of the universe's center might change with future scientific advancements. With more powerful telescopes we may uncover new celestial bodies or phenomena that challenge our current understanding. Perhaps we'll discover that the universe isn't expanding uniformly, but in a more complex pattern. Or maybe we'll find evidence of a multiverse, where our universe is just one among many. The future of space exploration holds infinite potential. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding our place in the cosmos, even as it opens up new mysteries to explore. So, while we may not have a definitive center of the universe, we are at the center of an ongoing cosmic journey, discovering and learning, one star at a time.